<laughs> hey there, Posse. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the best wines uh, to have with you when you're out on a camping trip. Now, I'm not talking about hiking the Appalachian Trail with, with wine. <laughs> I'm talking about a day trip or a weekend. You know, something that uh, you would do with that special someone uh, with, or with a friend or with your family. We're going to check out the best wines to take camping and why they'll work well. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. When selecting a wine to take on, on a camping trip, it's essential to consider practicality, durability, and the overall camping experience. As a quick sidebar, a word to the wise, whatever you do, and I repeat, whatever you do, do not put a rubber snake in a sleeping bag of someone bigger and stronger than you are. Even though it's absolutely hysterical, as the scenario unfolds, I assure you, you'll get the snot beat out of you if you do that. I did that to my oldest son on a cold rainy night on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> you, you should have heard it. It was hysterical until he came flying out of his tent, you know, straight at me. Well, anyhow, okay, here are, my, here are my recommendations for the best wines to camp with and some reasons why they'll work well for you. Now, first up is you want to think about lightweight and unbreakable packaging. Many wineries now offer wines in cans, which are lightweight, easy to pack, and virtually unbreakable. Canned wines are also convenient for uh, portion control as you can open just what you, you need without worrying about corking the bottle. They're also easy to recycle. Uh, look for options like canned rosé, sparkling wine, or even red blends. Some wineries also offer wine in a pouch or a box with, with a, a built-in spout making it easy to pour. Box wines are great for camping because they're lightweight, don't require a corkscrew and stay fresh longer due to the vacuum sealed bags. Plus, the boxes are, are more environmentally friendly than glass bottles. <laughs> now, now, if you have a moral objection to, to boxes or cans, uh, canned wines, then you can also consider plastic or lightweight bottles. These are going to be easier to carry uh, than traditional glass bottles and are a good option for camping trips where uh, weight and durability are concerned. Now, if you prefer traditional glass bottles, well, then I suggest you, you opt for uh, wines with uh, uh, screw caps instead of corks. They're a whole lot easier to open and reseal, particularly when you're, you're outdoors and really on the go. Now, moving to our, our next tip, you'll want to, to go with New World versus Old World wines. You can learn more about that, uh, uh, the difference between that uh, here. Put simply, Old World wines such as French and Italian wines might work better for, for an upscale romantic occasion while New World wines are typically more fruit forward and easy drinking wines. They're great for camping. Uh, look for red blends that, that are fruit forward, approachable, and don't require extensive aging. Generally, camping trips aren't a time for rolling out all the stops. Also, uh, that doesn't mean you have to, to sacrifice quality. It's just that you're, you're being somewhat realistic. I also love New World wines because they're often much more versatile and can be served at slightly cooler temperatures. Think about uh, you know, just think about, uh, uh, you may uh, have to, to put everything in the same cooler and that's going to be a, a lower temperature than typically recommended for wines. But New World wines can usually handle that a little bit better. Now, how are you doing there? Is this information making sense? If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Okay, 
Uh, ready for tip number three? Now, one of the, the best wines for camping is a rosé. Dry rosé wines are light, refreshing, and especially perfect for warm weather camping. They pair well with a variety of campfire dishes from grilled chicken to charcuterie. Now, on a similar note, you can choose other wines uh, that are lighter and more refreshing, such as white wines like Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, Riesling, or lighter reds like Pinot Noir and or Gamay. Again, you want wines that are more versatile and can be enjoyed chilled if you're camping in warmer weather. Now, shifting gears just a little bit, here are some practical things to keep in mind as you're getting ready for your camping trip. Now, don't forget to, to pack durable, lightweight, shatterproof wine glasses or wine tumblers designed for outdoor use. They're less likely to break and more suitable for serving wine around a campsite. If you prefer chilled white wine or rosé, chill the wine before heading out to your camping site. A cold pack can help keep it at the desired temperature during your trip. Now also, bring essential wine accessories like a corkscrew or a wine opener and per perhaps even a, a small cutting board for cheese and charcuterie if, if you plan on having a more sophisticated campfire feast. Well, there you have it. Remember that camping is about enjoying nature, so choose wines that enhance the, the experience without adding unnecessary complexity. Whether you're relaxing by the campfire, picnicking by a, little, a lake, or simply enjoying the outdoors, the right wine can complement your invite your adventure. That was easy for me to say. Anyhow, additionally, you might want to be mindful of the environment by properly disposing of any packaging material and recycle whatever is possible. Oh, and, and also remember, uh, no hidden, <laughs> hidden snakes in the sleeping bag. Cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.